Veganism is going out of fashion. Meatless Farm announced their ending production. Beyond Meat shares crashed 95%. Uh, most vegan companies in this country, lack of consumer demand now. I think people have got a bit fed up with it. I think one of the reasons is they're fed up with being shouted at. You, you're one of these people that runs into restaurants and plays you know, sounds from screaming animals and abattoirs and so on. I know you care passionately about it. I think it's very off-putting. It's a bit like the Just Stop Oil protesters doing a lot of their stuff. It just annoys people. It has the opposite effect to what you hope. No, I don't think so at all. I think it brings more attention to the animal holocaust. Animals are subjected to rape, torture, enslavement, abuse and murder, and I'm bringing light to that, and I'm seeing why would more you use the word? Okay, why vegan. use the word holocaust? Holocaust is the mass extermination of more than six million Jewish people by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Well, that why would is you, one holocaust in history. Why would you, you, why would you evoke... Well, people know that as the holocaust. Why would you yeah. use that kind of very emotive language, knowing it would offend a lot of people? Well, it's just a factual statement. If you look at the definition of a holocaust, it is slaughter or destruction on a mass scale. Multiple mm. holocausts have occurred throughout human history and non-human animals can be subjected to the same atrocities that humans can. In fact, it's the largest holocaust in history with three trillion individuals brutally murdered every year for human food consumption. All right, Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you, I just find... I don't mind people being vegan. If you don't want to eat meat, it's absolutely fine. And I get some of the reasons why they don't want to, personal choice, you know, they care about animals and so on. Although I would point out animals eat a lot of animals, just for the record, naturally. Um, what do you feel about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me from all the sales in the UK and stuff, it's kind of going out of fashion, like it was a fad for a lot of people. They've gone back to munching meat. Well, veganism is an ethical... Oh, I'm, right, so I'm I asking Tommy, people... sorry. Re yeah, I think a lot of people realize that it wasn't, in fact, the healthier choice because when they choose this Beyond Meat or these other substitutes, it's actually just packed with different fillers. So it's not actually this cleaner option like a lot of people thought at the onset of the whole vegan craze. But I got to tell you, speaking of the animal holocaust, which I think is a ridiculous thing to say, I'm from a ranching family. I'm from a ranching state. There is nobody that cares more for their animals than those in the ranching and farming communities. Now, I'm against factory ranching and farming as well, by the way, I think that that's atrocious. I'm an animal lover. But as somebody who comes from a ranching family, I can tell you that ranchers and farmers care for their livestock dearly. Yes, it does, at the end of the day, turn into a product for human consumption. But that doesn't mean that it is always inhumane, that it's always disgusting, that it's this animal holocaust or genocide, as your guest was referring to it as. It's also really annoying to me when people try to say that animals are causing climate change. I mean, if you don't want to eat animals because you love animals or you have a health reason that prevents you from eating animals, that's fine. But this whole environmental craze that we need to get rid of animals because they're causing climate change, that's also a step too far and part of the reason why this whole vegan craze is going out the window. Yeah, and you know, Bear Grylls said recently, I was a vegan quite a few years. Uh, he said, but I thought it was good for the environment, I thought it was good for my health. And through time and experience and knowledge and study, I realised I was wrong on both counts. It was bad for the environment, bad for his health. He was never a vegan in the first place. Veganism is an ethical view against he wrote a animal vegan abuse cookbook. and murder. If you're against animal abuse and murder, you never contribute it to it again. He wrote a vegan cookbook. It wasn't actually a vegan cookbook. It contained animal abuse and so murder. You're saying products. Bear Grylls was a fake vegan? He never was a vegan. He was a vegan? No, absolutely. You're saying he's a liar. He's not a liar. No, well, I've looked at the cookbook. You may, and not, there have were animal products well, you may not have liked the fact that he went back to eating meat, but he was a vegan for quite a while. Well, he, people just go really... by that label all the time, but if they actually truly hold their ethical view against mm. animal abuse and murder, then they would never turn back on veganism. You know, Tommy, over here, I railed against uh, uh, vegan sausage rolls. I didn't like the way they appropriated the language of meat products. I don't think vegan companies should be allowed to use words like sausage rolls or steaks because that's meat. Yeah, exactly. And they're filled with soy and fillers and other disgusting things that you actually don't want to put into your body. And meat tastes good. That's why all of these fake meat companies try to make it taste like meat. It never actually comes to fruition because it still tastes like crap. And I would also point out during COVID, when we were having shortages in the grocery store, if you looked for meat, it was sometimes hard to find, at least here in the U.S. But that Beyond Meat crap, that was always available because people yeah. don't want it. The consumers are deciding that they want maybe in organic option, maybe a free range option, but people still want to eat meat. And you can eat meat and respect animals at the same time. It yep. can be done. It's been done since the dawn of time. But we are beyond, beyond meat now. We're going back to munching meat. I love meat. I won't be persuaded otherwise. And I think there are better tactics than running into restaurants and playing noises of screaming animals, personally.
Why are vegans uh, so angry? <clears throat> well, um, he, he made a statement saying uh, the vegans are hangry and angry, but he carried on and banned all vegans from his restaurant because of one simple complaint. He's allowed a, to? Yeah, he's allowed to ban a whole group of people from well, the restaurant. Well, he's a chef who's just sick of tailoring to vegan well, people who want to have all this stuff and get angry about meat. Well, listen, and listen, listen, wait a second. He he got a two uh, he got a two star review when he was on a um, Great British Menu, right? He ripped mm. off his mic, smashed up the studio, and said that he wanted to kill the guy for giving him a two star review of a fish dish that he made. He didn't ban all fish <laughs> eaters to, from his restaurant. Why not? You were you were didn't ban all fish not? eaters. Why not, Joey? Joey. So Joey, we're gonna get, it. Joey, listen. We're going to get personal. You were a gang member, so don't take the high moral ground of um, smashing something no, up. Am I, am I, <laughs> I'm completely honest about. True. It. There's been documentaries made. Right, about so don't take the high moral ground about losing your temper. You were literally in a gang. I was 10 years ago, 10 years sober now. You're going to use I'm that. I'm just saying, if you're uh, going to get personal with him... But anyways, I don't walk around with uh, dead baby pigs facing them like that. Like, does that look like someone oh, who really a gives a damn about animals? Picture. Like, you know, and he, that's he, he that, that's his profile picture. Looking at a dead pig... Joey, in Joey, in Australia, Joey, Australia, thank one you. second, I just want to say Joey, this. In me... Australia, pigs are killed in gas chambers, OK? They right. cause pigs... They're, they're horrible. Have you seen footage from inside a gas chamber? Joey, here's the thing... I recently exposed one in the UK. Yeah. They Carbon scream dioxide. to death and beg for mercy. Okay. In Perth, there's a gas chamber called Lindley Valley Pork, right? And this guy serves pork at his restaurants. All right. And why would you be more Joey? upset that, of a little complaint as a chef than pigs being murdered let in gas chambers? OK, let me ask you the question that I asked a vegan activist the other day, okay. which is that given that 80% uh, or 90% of the world's almonds come from California, where they are made in the involving the demolition of billions of bees who get murdered. How do you feel about the little guys? They don't guys? get murdered. Um, that's completely false, and I don't know why... How many billions, how many billions of bees die in, in the pollination I've of... I've got the 2022 data right on, here. Then. They die mostly from parasites and pests. 66% die mm. of uh, uh, varroa mites or other pests and parasites. But Some in die the making, from disease. In the making Excuse me, of no, almonds no. and avocados. <laughs> they don't. Oh, they do. Oh, they no, do. What, the data you know, is here. It's this here. Do you know where I read this? This here is data from US Department of Agriculture. Do you know where I read this? I read it in The Guardian, the vegan bio. <laughs> Even The Guardian hey, hey, admitted me. that this you vegans who eat avocados Only and almonds... Only 6.7%. This is not... You don't and care also, about the little guys. We boycott... Billions of bees get those, murdered and bees, you don't care. Where do those bees come from? Huh? Where do those bees come In from? America, they come from all over where? the country. The commercial honey industry. That's true. And, and A lot what, of them do. do. Boycott? What do vegans boycott? Go on. The, the commercial honey industry. Why don't you boycott almonds and avocados? Because... I don't see a reason to. Most of the bees are dying from mites. You don't see... No, 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 no. Do you see pollination You don't see a reason to. OK. All right. Listen... So you don't six, care about the little only guys? Only 6% die from pesticides, so it's not a really a rights violation. They're not murdering the bees. Joey, so here's dying. my point. The bees big are pig, just... No, big pig... No, one second. A big pig makes you cry. A they little bee... Killed in gas you don't, you don't care. No, listen... You don't care do, about... There's a, no reason bit, to be upset about pollination. Sometimes 50 billion... They die from mites. Why aren't you angry at the mites? Hang on, Joey. Barrel of mites. Let's shout over each other. Sometimes 50 billion bees die in six from weeks. From mites. To give you vegans. I've literally just your told you they die from mites. No, the, that's uh, not true. These are agricultural stats that is from not America. true. Read and the Guardian. Read the Guardian. I, I read it in an article. Let like me, an anecdote, so it must be true. Listen. Joey, how long have you been a vegan? Uh, ten years. Right, do you actually? Because you seem quite agitated to me. Like you want a it's bit just of. Just about nonsense about bees being murdered when they die from mites. They are murdered. <laughs> They're murdered. <laughs> you're a, it's it's clown think, behaviour. But do, but do you think, in a way, you represent what I feel about vegans? That you're all no, quite listen, hangry. You, are you against animal cruelty, Piers? Yes. Then why do you support animal cruelty when you support the I meat industry? I don't. I've defended the bees for years. No, well, no. they're not murdered. They die from oh, mites. Billions of bees are murdered we, so that you, you vegans honey? can eat almonds and avocados. Do you honey where, they, where they're hired, hired from? They have no respect for meat eaters, uh, but if we were doing the same thing to them, they'd all go nuts, right, wouldn't you? You'll go nuts if I came running into your little vegan hellholes and began screaming abuse. <laughs> you'd all throw your toys out the pram, as you do on a daily basis. I'm not throwing my toys out the pram right now, Piers. Uh, I'm, you... I'm loving this, to be honest. What, are you, what are you loving? I'm loving it, this open conversation that we're having about. It's actually quite But why do you issue. have to go and, and do a, a restaurant and uh, disrupt our business, disrupt the customers, other people that want to eat the meat, other people that want to enjoy themselves, they want to go and have a night out... Uh, I don't have any problems with you guys coming to our restaurants and ordering a vegan dish. In fact, in January, we always do a, a veganuary and we go through a lot of different um, ingredients to create menus for you guys. I don't understand why we have to suffer uh, your uh, uh, mentality of coming to our restaurants and trying to disrupt the customers that are having a fantastic time the, and they want to the, eat the steak. What's the answer? No, it's actually a good question, Aldo. And actually, it's fantastic 
that you create fantastic vegan dishes. The fact of the matter is when we look at high-end restaurants, you know, salt-based restaurant, Manor up in Manchester that was also disrupted the weekend, these are symbols of a broken system, you know. Why, because he makes nice Symbols food. of a broken system where, you know, there's 1,500 quid getting why charged make, for a steak. Why is he making millions I please around the world? I was, I was in one of his restaurants last week in Qatar. I loved it. Fantastic. But he served me. I've got a clip of him. Yeah, yeah I was waiting for you to show it up. I was wondering little, how long it would take. It was me doing his little uh, salt trick. He taught me. You weren't, you weren't very good at it. He then actually no. cooked it in front of me. And he's, he fed me, actually, directly fed me the meat into my mouth. It was delicious. Loved it. Fine. Well, loved it. I, I would invite any vegan. But if you'd run in and tried to interrupt and just ruin everyone's night, I would have done what those waitresses did, just thrown you out. That's absolutely fine. So what's the point of it all? What does it achieve? None of you make me want to change my mind. I just think, what annoying little squits. Honestly, I do. It's the same when you're chucking paint at Van Gogh paintings. It's the same when you're tying yourself to fuel pumps or hanging yourself on bridges and stopping people using Dartford Tunnel. It's all the same. You're just all too annoying. So the British public don't like annoying people and they don't like their lives being disrupted. They want their freedom to have a choice. The choice, as I had in Qatar last week, to have Salt Bay, whose restaurant you, well, you can lot you invaded, imagine you... to do this to my mouth. <laughs> can Look, you imagine someone look, that's, coming that's in fine, this is it. This and is, disrupting this is your my... evening? Have we got the clip? We haven't got the clip. Oh, wash. Oh, you just ran it, OK. No, but can you imagine you coming to our restaurants and, and then you get some people coming to your table and trying to disrupt your evening. It's, a, it's abuse. I'm going to start... Me. I am going to start running into vegan restaurants. That's fine. Go I'm for it. just that's shouting that's and right, being annoying right and protest, grabbing yes. tables and so you can't eat your gruel and just see how you lot like it. Honestly, I'm going to go to your house and chop paint Piers. all over it. Piers, you've got a right to protest. Oof! You've got me another one. Fantastic. Take it off your bingo. Fast it. Take it off your bingo, son. <laughs> but where's the salt? Where's, where's it? Won't need any of this gruel. Fantastic. Just put that to one side, but I will have a bit of steak just to... You didn't salt it, though. You see, all you've achieved <laughs> is you've made me want to do this. Just that's, eat that's lovely... absolutely fine. Mm. You go mm. for it. Mm. <laughs> do, you know me, do you know how many steaks he's had from my restaurant? A yeah, lot. a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot. But here's my point. I love eating steak. I'm not going to stop eating steak. Yeah. And the, the very last thing on earth that will stop me eating steak it's people like you with your pasty faces running into our restaurants telling us to stop eating steak. That's it's the fine. very last thing that I'm going to do. Absolutely. Because you, you don't fine represent to me is. vitality or good health. You just all look like you want a good bit of steak. That's absolutely you do. fine. You're fully entitled to that opinion. And as I've just said earlier, you're right to protest if you want to run into your a vegan restaurant. Your mates are also the Extinction absolutely Rebellion, fine. right? My mates. You're all like interwoven, aren't you? You said before we came on over. Like a, like a wool and blanket. Well, are you together. connected or not? So we're a sister movement. A sister movement? What's that? Rebellion. Sounds a bit sexy. No, we, we have, you know, common goals. You know, what are your common as, goals? Irritating people. <laughs> such, as, such as tackling the climate and ecological emergencies, mm. which, you know, I'm sure all of us... What did you think of Meghan and Harry using a private plane? Oof, there we go, Meghan Markle. That's another one. What That's four two? for nine. Ah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to give you that, What mate. did you think of them using a private plane to, to go to this uh, award show? You must be furious, it's right? It's incredible how you manage Are you furious? to turn this into, oh, let's dump on Meghan hey, and hey, Harry. Hey, your your agenda, Piers, off. You just talked about the environment. I just, wonder, I just wonder whether... Would you go in their plane? I just wonder no, whether you... Feel, do you feel... I, I wouldn't go on a Do plane, you feel no, angry no. they used a private plane or not? No, or I think we what, what we plane? should have is affordable travel for right, everyone. But they, they used a, a private plane. What we should have is travel systems... Do you criticise them for using a private plane or not? You know, or because it's, they're it's the woke king and queen, you're not allowed to. They're using a plane. Is it I would have much, can't? I would have much preferred. You know why you can't? Don't you know then? Because this is against Piers, this is hypocrisy. To you your can't face, because you, Nathan I am McGovern, telling you. you don't want to read a headline tomorrow saying Nathan McGovern from Animal Rebellion slams Meghan and Harry for using private plane. You don't want to say it because, like them, you're a flaming hypocrite. You'd oh, rather go in. There we go. You've got me a column. You'd rather. Brilliant. You'd rather go. Fantastic. You'd figures. rather go into restaurants like Aldo's or Salt Bay's or whatever and just make a nuisance of yourselves because it's easier. My problem with vegans is this. I mean, I bet you're a, you probably like almonds, do you? Oh, no, you're not going to do the almond avocado with me. No, just this is boring. asking you, do no, you... This, eat... this is boring. I'm, it no. may be boring. No, 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 I no. actually find the vegan assault on meat eaters boring. So do you eat avocados and almonds? I'm not assaulting anybody. Do you eat them? Anybody. Do you eat them? I eat them from Spain. So you do? You eat avocados Spain, and almonds? Spain, because the issues that you talk and, and about... And do you drink... About the what bees, kind of milk do you drink? 
You're talking about the murder. What kind of milk do you drink? You talk about the murder of soya. Soya, okay. Yeah. So you talk about the murder of bees in other interviews. Yes, because vegans but you don't, don't care. care. But you don't care about the billions no. of calves and no. chicks and piglets. I understand. So you're a complete hypocrite. No, I'm not. You are pigs. No, the hypocrites are the vegans no, who munch not. away on almonds <laughs> and, and their avocados and no. stuff. They don't give a damn about billions of bees getting annihilated. No, that's Because the bees rubbish. are the little guys. It's and I had this conversation each time because that's the hypocrisy. I don't care. You're obsessed with this no, because you think it catches I am a out. proud Listen, and happy Piers, meat and yoghurt Piers, eater. Piers, we're in the When you try and make out this yoghurt is the most evil thing that anyone Piers, can eat in the world, I think you're bonkers, Piers, Juliet. we're in the sixth mass extinction. We're living it now. You're behaving like a news anchor on I'm Don't in the, Look I'm Up. In the, I'm in the what? You're behaving like a news anchor on what the film Don't Look Up. What we're in the sixth mass extinction. You're deflecting all the time from the The world is issues. not going to end you because I... You are trying I, to deflect Because I eat a muller yoghurt. Look, what? Factory farmed. You're trying to deflect Look, from the fact the world's still that here. veganism protects the environment. Juliet, we're still here. We are, but how Nobody's much longer extinct. have we got? You've got kids. You must care about the climate crisis. I let my kids eat meat. I let them eat yogurt. And you know what? I don't think it's evil. You must care about the climate crisis, and you must be aware that the University of Oxford has specifically stated that a vegan diet it protects the really? environment. Really? But you just it said you, you just said you gases. eat your you said it you really, got your eat almonds or avocados from Spain. Which one? From Spain. Which one? Both. I don't eat almonds. Actually. How do they get here? Avocados. How do they get here? Boat. Boat. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I am sure. You sure? I am absolutely sure. Really? And how do you think most vegans get most of their almonds, avocados from California? And how do you boat? think most no, they meat don't. eaters get their? No, they don't. Their, their they don't get them from a boat. They get <laughs> them on planes. Meat eaters get their and avocados. they get them on planes, which guzzle up the environment. Do you eat avocados? Yes. But you care about all these millions of bees being no, killed. No, I care about your hypocrisy about no, the little guys. Rubbish. I do. Most bees are killed because of overuse of pesticides. Most overuse Not of true. pesticides Not true. is due to the way that it's the land the poli- is farmed. In the poli- to, no, no, to, to no, grow that is not fodder true. for farmed that is, animals. That is not so true. So you're talking rubbish. Most of the bees get killed in the pollination process. Rubbish. And by the way, after they get killed, you vegans get all your almonds and avocados flown over on these gas-guzzling planes. And my point is, I like to fly, I like to eat meat, I like to eat yoghurts. I'm just fed up with vegans trying to shame me for it when you're all such hypocrites no. when it comes to the bees. No, you're not. You're against factory farming. If you went inside the farms that I've been inside and the reason that I set up Viva, the state of the animals that I've seen them in, pigs you Julia, know, dying in front of me... If this makes me evil, not, you would this not makes me it. evil, I am happy to not. be evil. It's disgusting. It's delicious. Juliette Galadley, lovely to see you. That's it from me. Whatever you're up to, keep it creamy.